there are a lot of tools out there to work with. And the reality is we looked at ID8 and I've looked at ID8 and comparing it to many of the other options out there, the clarity of the user interface, the clarity of how the tool actually looks and works and does its job and does it well was one of the main reasons why we selected ID8. The three biggest advantages of using ID8 tools at our firm are one, productivity, uh, making sure that um, users are very efficient in what they do. Two, model management. It's about efficiency, but it's also about cl having clean models and models that run as well as possible. But also, uh, it's, a, it's a learning tool. It's a learning tool because it helps our newer users actually know how to use Revit in a better way. I've been going to conferences for way too many years now, and ID8 software has always been there. And I think I just approached, I think it was Craig at the time at one of the conferences and just started talking to him, seeing what software they had. Um, gave me some demos, I'm like, wow, this stuff looks pretty good. So I looked at the demos and started figuring out how can I incorporate that into some of my clients' workflows and things like that. It's, it's actually just giving us the ability to do things that we couldn't, that were maybe impeding you know, progressing forward or people would be spending, again, you know, I bring it up again, a lot of time, say, searching for a level that's off in the distance that you could never find on your own. Boom, you open up i8 Explorer, search for that, find the level, delete it. That, one, it's something that we couldn't have done otherwise, which would have impeded us, and two, we've done it so quickly that we just move on. I think the really noticeable improvement has been in leveraging the power of the Revit database for life scheduling. Uh, many of our design teams wanted to provide old style mechanisms for documenting their schedules and so forth and making them give that up by providing them with uh, ID8 Memlink the ability to leverage that model or information directly into the model was great and it really improved our documentation and made it easier from a QC perspective because we knew we could count on what was in the model. A lot of times you have these tools and you have things to enhance either the workflow in Revit or something that you purchase to add on and you can't necessarily quantify the benefit. So your boss or the team or people want to know an actual quantifiable benefit of using this tool. So with this, this is something I've experienced with the ID8 tools, the ID8 apps and others. I can quantify, I can go, this task used to take me 40 minutes and now it takes me five. And, and, and inevitably, when you're, when you're doing this, you're on a deadline. So those 35 minutes that I save are 35 minutes sooner I can get this to the client. We deploy all the ID8 tools to all 1,300 of our staff. Reasons being, it's a very clear tool. It works very well. We don't have long learning curves. It's easy for staff to get into it and use them very quickly. BIM Link pushes data back and forth. Sticky brings spreadsheets in. Explorer interrogates the model. Tools I really like are ID8 Explorer um, and Style Manager and the ID8 Delete tool. The ID delete tool, just being able to see, hey, if I delete this, what are the plethora of things that are going to be affected by it? Um, and Style Manager, being able to, for me, create a person who creates content and templates, what's in these projects, what's wrong. ID8 has a real focus on what users need. The beta programs, the outreach, there's a lot of listening to what people want, and it drives the software. So when it does and behaves, the way it works and behaves, uh, is really aligned with how practitioners needed to behave.